Hi. Uh, this video is about uh, various protection mechanism which is included in power supply. Uh, some of them will completely disable a unit. Some of them it's channel related. And the idea is to protect connected load. Let's start with self-testing which is performed on startup. So when I switch on if everything is fine we'll get a main page but we can try this once again with remote connection power input connection on channel 2 and we'll see what will happen Self-test is not passed and this section will be disabled and in event view we'll get various events related to this failure. But we can continue to work with channel 1. You can hear also that on the beginning the fan it's checked by speeding it up and if everything is fine if you get some response about speed the self test will pass. We can try again to start power supply without connected fan. Self test is not passed and we get information that fun is failed. If we came to this situation, firmware will automatically limit current on both channel to one amp. We can check that here. Limit is one amp. And we cannot go over that. Without fan we can safely continue to work with current of up to 1 amp. Of course that 1 amp is in the firmware as a constant and you can increase that to 2 or 3 or up to 5 amp but in that case our temperature protected will be triggered much earlier. Something could happen during the operation time so that we can try to just remove again a power and we will get something like that. It will be automatically go into standby mode. It is also possible that firmware detect some failure on the channel when everything is in standby mode. Why? Because on the channel it's a temperature sensor. And if I remove complete channel module like this, I'll get that information. And in the next power on, I will get that in an event viewer. That will look like this. So we can see that channel 2 temperature failed. Now we can continue with built-in protection for connected load. The most basic one is over current protection. We can see that here. Okay, we can use another one. And I can check here what is the status about over current protection. So it's active and will be triggered on the set current. It's 1 amp. On the 12 volts everything what can draw more than one amp will automatically trigger over current protection. With one ohm power resistor we have condition to do that. We cannot simply power it on because we need to check 
what's going on. So for we need to clear protection here. And now we can continue. Another protection could be over voltage protection. And we can go here, say yes, trip level could be 12, trip delay after how much, sec how much seconds we can put, let's say 2 seconds, just to have some delay. It's automatically triggered. Why? Because we have already 12 volt on the, on the output without load. So again, I need to put a load here, clear, and now we can enter operation. So output voltage is one volt, and after two seconds, we'll get this. Again, we need to clear that, or if we want to remove this, we can do that here. Power protection limits output power on the load. Again, we need to go in protection settings, power limit, current output power is 1 watt and we don't want to go with, let's say, more than 4 watt after one second and we can increase output power like this that will be more than enough what's going on? I forgot to activate it okay Temperature protection, it's mainly to protect the channel itself. And we can go here. And here we can see what is the current temperature. And let's go with some lower value, like this. And let's put some load to see what will happen. We need to wait some time or we can monitor temperature on the channel here. So on the 45 degrees after one second we got this. It's off and OTP it's tripped. This power supply has remote voltage sensing and for that we have some external inputs where we need to put a cable I'll use this okay and if we want to to use it we need to go to remote sensing and switch it on everything is fine if positive sense input goes to positive power output and the same with the negative but if for any reason, negative touch positive or vice versa, output will automatically rise to the maximum, in, in our case to 40 volts. What without any uh, other protection activated probably will damage permanently connected load. To avoid that, the power supply uh, has implemented on the hardware and in firmware level reverse polarity protection. So that means that if I for any reason connect with positive and negative power output I will get automatically error and channel will be switched off like this or if I just connect both of them together. This is everything for this time. Thank you again for your attention. Goodbye.